morning. from Chicago, Lil, Little Miss Ann. Little Miss Ann makes music for kids, and that was her latest uh, album. It's called um, Keep On, and that's Little Miss Ann with uh, Amy D. So I never met Amy D. I've played a show before with Little Miss Ann, but I don't know who Amy D is. But that's uh, her latest record. Little, little Miss Ann lives in Chicago, and she really is little. She's about this tall. Good morning, my friends. It's Friday morning. That means it's a sing-along dance party. Coming at you live from the friendship. Here we are. Hey, and if you have any requests, let me know. Also, I had a little bit of technical difficulties uh, last time I tried to make a live stream, which was Wednesday. I have a new device I'm using. My other one just suddenly died. Hi, Chad Collins. So I had to get a new one, and uh, I think it's a very similar one, but there was a, I, we had some problems the other night. So let me know what you see and what you hear, especially if it's unusual or uh, faulty in some way. Let me know. So I really want to hear your critical feedback. I can't do anything to fix it, but I can't tell what's going on. So if you let me know, at least I'll know. That would be helpful, I think. So if anything doesn't sound right or doesn't look right, definitely let me know. If anything sounds good, it looks good, you can let me know that too. I like knowing that stuff. And thank you for watching. I know a lot of uh, kids are getting ready to go back to school right now. And maybe the way that some kids are going back to school, maybe the way a lot of kids are going back to school is kind of unusual. But I'm planning on... Uh, be in here on Friday mornings for the foreseeable future so you can tune in and maybe since it's school time I'll try to work in some educational stuff plus you can always sing along and dance along and I know that um, I know that that's something maybe missing from zoom because you don't get a lot of singing and dancing I don't know maybe I'm wrong but regardless if you're looking for some singing and dancing this is a sing-along dance party. So if you feel like singing along or dancing at any time, you are perfectly welcome. As usual, I'm going to sing some songs that you know. I'm going to sing some songs that you don't know. I'm going to sing some silly songs. And I might sing some scary songs. I'm going to start with my favorite song to start with. I learned this from the Louis Armstrong. 
song record. This song's almost 100 years old. Oh, Jeeper, Creeper, where'd you get those Jeeper? Jeepers, Creeper, where'd you get those eyes? Oh, gosh, oh, get up, how'd you get so lit up? Cock, oh, get up, out of here, no time. Oh, golly, gee, when you turn those cheaters on. Oh, is me, gotta turn my cheaters. Tune in it. I do that so uh, it sounds better for all of us. Uh oh. This is a danger song. This is about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. like to have lunch with me. There's an alligator in the elevator. I can't believe what I see. There's an alligator in the elevator. And he's making eyes at me. Alligator, please push number four. Four. I'm going up to the fourth floor. 
Tell me, what are those big teeth for? There's an alligator in the elevator. I can't believe what I see. There's an alligator in the elevator, and he's making eyes at me. Alligator, please push number five. Five. I'm going up to the fifth floor, and I'd like to get there alive. So I'm taking the stairs. See you later, alligator. Thank you. Did you see my cat over there? <laughs> you know what he was doing? He jumped up there so he could knock a couple things down. That's how he shows me he's hanging out. Watch out for those alligators, especially the ones in the elevators. Hey, Chibi, come here. Wanna say hi to this cat? Come here. This is Chibi. What do you say, Chibi? Yeah. You know, Chibi's a really good cat. Yeah, really good cat. Thought you might like to see him up close. <laughs> You're a star, Chibi. Thank you. Yeah, I knew you love that. I'm gonna dedicate this song to all you, all you folks that love to dance out there.
dedicated to all you dancers out there. Here's another song about dancing. I don't really know what this is all about because it's called the mystery dance. But it's good for dancing. I'm having a little coffee this morning. Mmm. You ever heard this song? Romeo was restless, he was ready to kill. He jumped out the window cause he couldn't sit still. Juliet was waiting with the safety net saying, Don't bury me cause I'm not dead yet. Why don't you tell me about the mystery dance? Why don't you tell me about the mystery dance? Why don't you tell me cause I tried and I tried and I'm still mystified. I can't do it anymore and I'm not satisfied. Well, I remember when the lights went out and I was trying to make it look like it was never in doubt. She thought that I knew and I thought that she knew. So both of us were willing, but we didn't know how to do it. Why don't you tell me about the mystery dance? Why don't you tell me about the mystery dance? Why don't you tell me that I tried and I tried and I'm still mystified? I can't do it anymore and I'm not satisfied. the covers in the middle of the night trying to discover that my left foot from my right you can see those pictures in those magazines but what's the use of looking if you don't know what they mean why don't you tell me about the mystery dance why don't you tell me about the mystery dance why don't you tell me about the tried and I tried and I'm still mystified I can't do it anymore and I'm not satisfied I can't do it anymore and I'm not satisfied I can't do it anymore and I'm not satisfied I can't do it anymore and I'm not satisfied I can't do it Song was written by the great Elvis Costello. Have you kids heard that before? I'm sticking with this dancing theme for a little bit. It's kind of fun. Here's another song I think is great for dancing, and I think there's a little bit of uh, regional uh, regional interest here. Uh, this is a song about a road, very old, an old road. The road doesn't exist in that form anymore. It's been replaced in places by United States Internet Interstate 44. Yeah, here's Cookie. This is Cookie. Cookie says, "Oh, hello, Cookie. Hello." Anyway, they called it the Main Street of America. The Main Street of America. Old Route 66. And the story I heard was that the writer of the song, Bobby Trope, was driving along in his car on Route 66 with his wife, who I think, you can fact check me if you want, uh, I think it was Florence Henderson who played Carol Brady on a show called The Brady Bunch. So Bobby Trope and Florence Henderson are driving down Route 66 and it just all came to him. It came to him all at once. This song, it's a very famous song. It's great for dancing. It's called Route 66.
Tom says, Michael Amoroso. What's that? What's that name mean? <laughs> Is it possible that I just got the name of the songwriter completely wrong? Too? I think it's Bobby Trope. I think it's Bobby Trope. <clears throat> That's right, Anna. You were just traveling along old Route 66, weren't you? And, you know, you can kind of even in your mind, you know, goes through St. Louis. You go Chicago, St. Louis, Joplin, Oklahoma City, Amarillo, Gallup, New Mexico, Flagstaff, Arizona. Don't forget Winona, Kingman, Barstow, San Bernardino. In my mind, I can look at that map. I can just watch that map in my mind. Cool song. I don't know why this occurred to me while I was singing that song, but I was wishing I knew a song about the Incredible Hulk, but I don't. I was just thinking it would be fun to sing a song about the Hulk, but whatever. <clears throat> maybe next time. Maybe I'll write one. Maybe, maybe one of you kids or something wants to write a song about the Incredible Hulk. Maybe I should suggest it to my neighbor, AJ. He writes songs. He's 11. I bet there is a song about the Hulk. I just don't know it yet. watching thanks for sharing thanks for being with me and thanks for your likes and your comments and your hearts and your stars and your tips and everything and your support i love you very much great to be with you hey anybody out there but especially any kids out there if you have any requests let me know i'm just kind of winging it today i don't know what i'm doing i'm playing some dancing tunes that's what i'm doing but i know uh some of you kids you have some favorites so let me know what you want to hear They sound so good. Yes, Tom, I think you're right. I think it is hard to rhyme Hulk. Bulk. Sulk. Both good rhymes uh, with regard to the Hulk, I think. Mulk. 
but you don't say it like that. You say milk, but you could say milk. You're talking about like how Hulk drinks milk. All right, that's ridiculous. Um, but any any ideas you have would be welcome. Song about the Incredible Hulk. I learned this song from a record when I was a kid. Sesame Street sings the alphabet. And um, this song was sung, sung by a big bird. names. This song about a friend of mine has a very unusual name. Maybe he's a friend of yours too.
Good thing I'm my friend. Nobody. old song you ever heard this one this is kind of half true story half not true story it's kind of half true and half imaginary but it does concern a real person uh, uh, the Baron von Richthofen a German fighter pilot during World War one and he was a uh, it was an incredible pilot and also um, a very deadly warrior. Uh, almost 80 people were shot down and killed by Baron von Richthofen. And this was at a time when airplanes were brand new. They were often made out of wood and canvas. Not metal, but wood and canvas. And their engines were about the size and sophistication of like a lawnmower. So if you can imagine these wooden canvas machines flying around in the sky, not even very high, they didn't even fly very high, and they sounded like this. And I read a book about it actually, and it just uh, it amazed me to hear these stories of, you know, 20, 20 of these airplanes flying toward each other and shooting shooting weapons at each other in the air during, during wartime. Fascinating story. Well, some of you may have heard of um, Snoopy. Snoopy's in this song. And the real truth, the actual facts of it is nobody really knows who shot down the Red Baron. That's what they called the Baron von Richthofen. They called him the Red Baron and nobody really knows who shot him down. So the cartoonist who made Snoopy made up a story that's, that Snoopy Shot down the Red Baron, and this is the song that tells that story. So, like I said, it's it's partly true and it's partly made up. After the turn of the century.
Thank you! You probably didn't see that, but look what happened. I was playing that song. Sproing. Broke that string. <laughs> Broke that string. That's good. Take it off right now. <laughs> Whoops. I can cut it. I just have five strings going. Well, I'll probably just play um probably just play a couple more songs then since I missed since I lost the string today. But I'll be back next Friday. And um hey listen, I don't know what's going on with uh you kids and stuff. If uh you're gonna be in school on Friday mornings when I come to play. Or not, but you can always watch the show later if you want. And I know that some of you are going to be online a lot, so maybe you don't even feel like doing that. And that's okay, too. Um, I was thinking about maybe moving my show to a different day, maybe on the weekend. But then I was thinking, you're on the computer so much all week. Why would you want to jump on on the weekend? So we'll probably stick with Friday mornings. And um, we'll just see what happens for a while. We'll just see what goes on. But I wish you all the best of luck. And I hope that... Um, I hope that it's fulfilling for you. I hope that you find ways to um, enjoy your classmates and your teacher. And that you learn a lot. Wow, they really got a little mess here. It's crazy sometimes when the string breaks, it sort of flies around and gets stuck on other things. <laughs> it's wild. Oh, you know what? I had a better idea. I'm gonna get. Rid I'm just gonna put this guitar down. See you, Cookie. Cookie's taking a break. This is Woody. Woody's a little bigger. Different color. Sounds different. Maybe you'll notice a different sound. And I'm just still gonna just play a couple more songs here for you. I really wanted to play this song for you, especially you kids who are getting ready to go back to school. And I know sometimes things seem really hard, and this has kind of been a rough, it's kind of been a rough year. A lot of changes happening, um, um, a lot of stress. Some of the sometimes the grown-ups in your life, and maybe you too feel a lot of like stress, uncertainty insecurity things like that it's hard so i want to play this song for you to uh maybe just to just to soothe your heart a little bit to make you feel a little bit better
I hope you're feeling good. Hope you have what you need. And, you know, sometimes if, if, you, if you need a little help feeling better, you know, sometimes I find that if I'm not feeling good, sometimes I can pick up my own mood a little bit if I help somebody else out. You know? Look for something you can do to help somebody else out. And before you know it, you're feeling a little better. That's just one way, but the way that usually works for me. Thanks for tuning in this morning, my friends. I love you so much. I love being with you, even if it's just through the screen. I can play two more songs for you. Two songs written by kids I know. This first one's written by my old friend EJ Funny. He wrote this song when he was six years old. It's called I Love Myself. And then I'm going to sing this song that my neighbor wrote, Augustia. He's, uh, or he goes by AJ sometimes. He's 11, and he wrote this song for me. That's my theme song. He wrote it just for me, and it's all about me. If there's anything that you wanted to know about me, it's probably in that song. So I'm going to play those two songs, and, um, and then I'm going to sign off. And then we've got the Sandy Beaches Saturday Night Special, Saturday nights at 9, and requests and dedications on Wednesday nights at 8. And I'll be here on Friday mornings at 11. And you can watch these shows anytime. You can watch them even after it's over. They'll still be here for you. And they're on YouTube, on my, on my YouTube channel. See you later. So thanks so much for your support. Thanks for your love and your hearts and your stars and your comments and your likes and your shares and your tips and your gifts and for just being a part of my life. I really appreciate it. I'm really glad that you tuned in. Um, I've always wanted to sing songs. Um, that I love for people that I love. So you're making my dreams come true. Thank you.
That's it. I love you a lot. And I really will. See you later. Bye.